Okay, Taka. Taka, he'll never move again. According to the monitor, he's like, he's a bloke to the head. He found Jack and he went to the bottom, and he's killing. There's a trap laid on. And there's a top <laughs> laid on. Did the killer you use this move to the party? That way he would be able to leave anywhere without moving. Okay, the blue top. Fume. Big gold body like the fella, he's really big body. I mean, how enough was the killer able to move it's not so big? The more. File was very slow to rest. All the way from the fourth floor to the third point, uh, without anyone noticing. How the hell? It's no good, I just don't get it. I can't think of it later, but for now I have to finish the game of itself. If I remember correctly, Yukumi's fatal injury was a blow to the head. Probably from just the same as Rui, which was lying on the floor in the north side. Oh, wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Yukumi's body in the north side. Oh, it's worse than his body right now. That's it. His glasses. When his body in the nose out, his glasses were covered in blood. And now they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? But who would do that and why? If Fumi's glasses are actually the thing. Whew. Okay. Bond button. Def the lock from the door, but I can't let me lock from the inside. I don't see any way to lock it from the inside. Oh. Oh, I gotta keep it investigating, okay. Um, hammers! There was a hammer on the front side for him, uh, like a mouse. Uh, could just hammer just be designed using the previous model skill? You know, all the hammers have been... I've always been seeing a lot of these. They're all covered in debris and clank down you know, the way. But for some reason, this one hammer is, isn't dirty at all. It's... What? Someone washed it recently? Mmm, can I... No, wait, no, I can't leave. Okay, yes, I get it, I get it, get it. I can't inspect that paint. Um... Freaking... Oh, hey, coin. Uh, you. So Would you like to play? Shit, that was quite the fucking knowledge recap. 
but I've been thinking about something. Oh. Uh, sorry, just message thing. It's about the rest of the toy. Huh? What is it? Mm. I think we may talk about it, but he says look at that, right? I was scared to look at that. Right. We came right to look for you know, like, uh, but when we got here, let's go to his lock. We couldn't get inside. It was a lock. Mm. When we came in, as soon as it started, there was no way someone could beat us. So, so that's you. Who locked it and why is it unlocked now? I want the same thing. The door's locked and the you. How dare you make a video without me? Um, I make a lot of videos without you, Pyro. <laughs> Shut up. They don't me they probably believe the fairies figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Those can only be locked from the inside of us, play, which makes me wonder. Can I take a positive from this adult with lock after the torture price again? Those designed to only be locked from the inside. So in other words, when he did check in the door had thrown a gun was playing door and when and they locked the left which in which I'll lock now. So in so in someone he claims that no one could have have beaten them in two left story. Was it that the killer who was still only three or was it one of the victims? Let's do it over at your door. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you think Hero really did this? I don't see anyone could have think otherwise. When the attack and motor could be all happened, everyone one had an alibi. The last thing whom he said when he died, yeah, he said Hero's so name. Other words. Then there's no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Maybe he thought no matter what ha happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because, because he's the fool of the century, you see. I mean, he is kind of dumb. But do you really think he think enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding somewhere. And is that, that it? That's all that bothers you from the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? They probably figured that if they could, couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Again, it comes to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me, why did the killer, killer bother killing two people? But, because all the will say is if you kill someone you get away with it, you got your life. So if you're know, the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues, clues more chances you get found out. I see. Hold on, perhaps I see, so that's what it means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me if we're using little friends. What's with the attitude? Dude, but you have my appreciation. Bye. Think you I might have some fun with this after all. This is what Henry was left with project. Hey, he talked as if he'd figured something out. But if he did, he would have killed it would have, have killed him to kill would it have killed himself. Yes, it probably would, because he would because when he eventually the inevitably Perfect. becomes one of the killers, then he's gonna do things. I should probably look around the ball. What else is there to Oh yeah, tab. Thank you. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this on the up. No room before. I guess it's useful to this It's kind of awkward, but if you bend it, and it's not too hard to use. But wait. Wasn't it in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? And look at the wheel. It did the blood stain. The blood on the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the park plate. That was. Yes, 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 yes. And you're somewhere. Maybe I should go somewhere else. Place I am at. Well, that was off the new found in an equipment room. I got found in. Thank you. Okay. It's 45. Five minutes so far. Right. And now to go to the physics room because it's closed off. I'm trying to get the investigation as fast as possible. Well, so I can, so I can just have the video in and just before the class trial. Okay. Oh, hello. The bed. You might go into the pool in the middle room. I might have to have the dog in there. So, blood down with that. Can it feel? Which of the main deck allows me to find the equipment? The pause are in the all have both rooms on the floor, so I guess that's exactly possible. But if the dog. Even if the who has used the moon target's body? What about Ifume? Ifume's body was nowhere else in the fourth floor, even with the dog. Way to get up. That's still a total mystery. Quick ammo. You. 
Hey, do you notice anything? I was sleeping, I was sleeping right there when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. Okay. Uh, you, you. Oh, Todd. I feel like I've seen it number four. Oh, great. Thanks. Okay. Okay, that's a secret thing probably is my important. Yeah, there's nothing else I can really do here. Wand button. I keep pressing escape instead of aw. Time to go down to the nurse's office. I have a fast travel. Inside, uh, it's a small big handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. I'm gonna cut it here, but it's also covered in blood. Oh, I find something. Yeah, there's a cleaning cloth in the uh, and it's all bloody. Why do I blind them up to use it? Wipe some blood. But, but would you need to do something like that? I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either, but I think it's more important. The hammer. Six, one they used to kill him. Some of the body was left behind. Anything else? Okay, nope, just you. <laughs> what are you investigating, Celeste? I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around seeing if, if Hiro might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that, and the main thing in all mind is that someone could have just moved the his body. Something was moved, eh? When it appeared, you were supposed to be in the North Star, yes, right? Correct. You know, I, I hope. Dina was not feeling well, so I say fine to look at her. It seemed to get in the war, so I took her to the bathroom. And when we got and when you got back, the body was gone. Mm. We could not kind of been gone for more than a minute or two though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get get him moving body in that short amount of time. Mm -hmm. It would seem so. Killer from the body hasn't more than a couple of minutes is so I can't think of anything less than impossible. Celeste's account. <laughs> Found hero yet? Uh, no, I have not. That's a good point. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is I've been looking for you. You have? I want to thank you for what you did. Not, the, not that, that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game very interesting indeed. Um, you should go for Hero's room and. Oh, and let me give you this. This is enough no hero work to get us all to meet up. Yeah, right? Hmm. You remember it well? Well, well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable. So it's it's an impression. Clear now. Anyway, let's make it clear, right? This is a trap. What is it? <laughs> Things go give them a little excitement. What are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Yasha Hero smashes. Hmm, so he said to go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? Well, that's fine, eh? That's how I hope. Hopefully he's... He's there, they're thinking about his life choices. Okay, there, there he is. That I should pass by accident. Yasha Hero! The door is unlocked. I guess I could go inside. Yeah, I could just go look. It might not be. i take the plunge. Let's go in. Uh. As usual. I'm trying to read stuff in here. Where do you even get it from? Well, importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission in the first room, right? I saw. Soundlessly check the bathroom. There's nothing in there. It's pretty grungy though. How does the bathroom even get this dirty? I want. Okay, yeah, box is closed. I guess I'm just gonna box. Room is closed up there. And. Something. I want that cardboard. It's the robot justice, is it? But wait. 
He's a meat one. Don't know why it bothered me. So how do the arms bend like this? He's bad. Yeah, I bet that's pretty much all I found. Okay. Makoto, big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Robo just showed up too. Robot Justice? It's Hero wearing the costume. Anyways, as soon as you can, head to the pool, pool on the second floor. Thank you, I'm going to plan that. If you need that, the pool. I ran to the big pool. Thank you for fast traveling me now. And... Choco and... I mean... Phew, man, I had the worst day. Here, though? Here. Uh, yeah, the, who else would I be? That's a good question. What? what? Why do you... Why do I look like this? What? Did somebody come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it an Illuminati? Was it the Illuminati? I did not click on the damn locker. The movie that like come along and remodel me? What? I am what you so sure for me that that I think I visit this object is Hero. I asked Kyoko for Vito. Okay, I talked to Kyoko. I found Hero. He was jammed into the pool, pool locker room. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and he woke up. I still can't believe he kicked me. I could have been a little more gentle about it, like, I don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyo, what have you been doing all this time? You used to be all the time without a trace. Wow. There's something I had to check out on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. Never mind. <laughs> More importantly. She says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you dress like that. I mean... Oh, well, I mean... I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened. Then I woke up, and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. You're just thinking about the costume. It pains me to just look at you. Well, uh... I don't know what's up with the thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make the stupid frickin' thing. There's a class on the back that's keeping you from getting off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's have it. Have fun. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get the hero out of the suit. Minutes, but eventually we got all of the things up. <laughs> Free at last. Hmm. It's kind of weird how publicly the suit fits the hero. So then. More to the point, nobody but hero would be able to wear that costume. Um, Wait, what? Wait, oh. what? Hold on a sec. Don't bother trying to act innocent, the blueprints win you in as well. Okay. In other words, it's obvious to everyone that you made the costume. It's true, I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. It then it's obvious, the one who put the costume on and went around attacking everyone was Hero! <laughs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Wait, hold on. She was not there. She was definitely not there when we found the blueprints. Good idea. Well, we wouldn't want him killing anyone else. Tie me up! Time me up! Hold on guys, I think we'll go in a little fast. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... Uh, um, attacking blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly costume attack? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it for yourself before you convict me. Fine, if it's gonna be a joke about it, I will. Without missing a bit, Hina started putting on the costume. Huh. See, look. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. 
here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. And now Huff Hina took the suit back off again. Oh. Well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um... No, see, no, see it's because you're a girl, and if it was another guy, then... Mogato, go ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces of the floor and tried them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. See, I told you it was impossible. You are obviously in the right. Now, that seems the costume was made to fit Kido's body exactly. But... Then, then, there's no costume. There must be one that looks the same, but fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. The heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there was another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. Well, what the heck? Just the worst. Who cares? Hiro's the only one without an alibi. Why are you doing this whole thing anyway? That's terrible! Which is how we know it was him. I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's happening. It could be like, tell me. Well, we just discussed him that I did good bullets. Okay. Um. Talk to you now. Uh, don't tell me what's going on. How am I supposed to understand? I've been figuring that out. Someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto. Who was it? Well, two people killed. Taka and Ifume. What? what? Two people? Why are you freaking out? You did it. I did not. Wait, hold on. Those two are the ones that were killed. How about that? The, that's it. I know who did it. So then. Maybe I'll tell us then. Hmm. Taki and Hufumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? I'm at least 30% Which right. means Alter Ego and their Chihiro must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please. Huh? Unfortunate. Stop trying to trick us and just admit you did it, okay? Um, I'm telling you. You got it all wrong. So oh, I know. That note. Nope. Uh, um... Last night, someone slipped the weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. Uh. The last thing I remember was going to the rec room, and then for some reason I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Not a chance. No, hold on. He could be onto something. The Nosis office did have some cameras that could do that. But, really? I told you, someone's I trying told to. You. Someone tried to set me up! It's a good passage! I tried to escape! Someone wrote all that to trick me! Even though that's true, you must be one dumb, dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Well, I've been trapped here for so long. Even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? Yeah! Yo, they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. I still don't buy it. Don't be mean! Well, you should buy it. Just a okay, then show us that note. Mm. What pleasure, I have it right here in my, uh, po pocket. No way! It looks like I lost it. Yeah, go. Yeah. Please, you can't believe me. I won't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to leave you, then you must provide evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you can claim, but if you can... Want us to believe you? Give us a reason. Uh, what the heck? Hello? Are you serious? Okay. What happened? Okay. What do we need to keep We only know who what did it. Heck? Why? Why did you kill us? Tell us, uh, you No, it's not like I said. 
Was it really to get money, Monokuma output? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broken, that's why. Wait, wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. Just be thankful we haven't bound and gag you. Hmm. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to collect an evidence, right? Ah, you're right. I need to look for the second suit. In that note. Feet don't, Feet don't feel me now. I guess I gotta get back to God duty. I was gonna ask Toko or Genocide Jack to switch with me. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, <laughs> bye. One by one, I want to feel the way. Makoto, do you have a second? Uh, I want you to help me with the investigation. It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Does that mean I have to explain everything? So I don't want to be helpful, you can pause or something. Hey, don't we have time? Will you tell me why you disappeared? No. So <laughs> no. Anyway. anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay, thanks. Now, shall we? So, Makoto, I'm supposed to like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses. I can't believe I'm healing this from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Yeah, because the living can lie. Wouldn't you agree? I don't know. I'm not sure if I would agree. <laughs> Welcome back, gentlemen. So, a pirate found out we were doing this, and I realized, like, oh, I didn't send myself to, um, offline. Oh, invisible, I should say. How am I supposed to answer? No, I only found out because I had my Discord up. Yeah, that too. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins. So Pyro's been filling in you all as doing some of the voices. Yeah, I'm just doing yeah, voices. I do. We're going for about an hour now. You know, I'm trying to get to the trial in one session and try and speed things up. Same with no Todd's toy. But I guess we better head that way for now. Todd's toy. Ah, must run again. Single recording of Ding and Rafa. This is just hurrying to. Not even recording. Just in gameplay, trying to get to the trial. I after a while, it's tiring. Like, we just gotta go, to, gotta go to the next place, gotta go to the next place, gotta go to the next place. I'm trying to make sure we get as much- You're, get you're close yeah. to you, uh, finishing the, uh, the message. Speed one and tactics. And it's just the last, like, part is just going around. Which, yeah, it's basically just gotta look around. Alright, I'm trying to just get to the start of the class trial, so I can stop recording there, and then choose to either continue or not continue. continue based on what we do. I can't make sure I'm going to be normal. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid. But only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. Couch and Echo Kaka, without hesitation, began poking and rodding the body. Time to feel that cough. The Monokuma file was like, they were killed using similar weapons. The movement was so smooth, she was so calm. See how comfortable she was, it actually made me feel a little more comfortable. That's weird. Anyone notice how she's about as pale as, um, Celeste? I see. Not going anywhere with that, by the way. Squirtle, I found something. You did? You remember that wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? He did. Yeah. Are you so oblivious to people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? That's <laughs> just rude. <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry, the wristwatch that he didn't brag about immediately make him better than everyone else who owns a wristwatch. No, that's not it. Anyways, so you said we had a watch. So Take a look. Look, it's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? It's most likely broke when he had his encounter with the ceiling. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past 6 o'clock. That would mean the watch was broken sometime just after 6. That's right. But last night, Taco... Taco's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey, you, how long are you gonna keep us waiting? We found in the OG scared pointless yet. How does the Super Saiyan die anyways again? It's almost 10 o'clock, you know. The time is all, it's all the little board. It's all the little So if I walked at, so at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. I mean, it must have happened at 6 this morning. That is a very astute detail. And that's not all. Look. If he has to be gripping something. Right, there's nothing right Makoto. there. Can you try to pry it out? Me? Because... Mega, Mega Mojas have, have already set in. Boys are better suited for this kind of manual labor, right? Okay. So they want to a guy's right hand. Yeah, when you die, your muscles kind of lock up. Up, so if you want to move something, you have to really pry it. That's why the term death grip exists. 
to this. You hold on to it as physically as hard as you can. Yes, I'm gonna do turn this into a science lesson. And film in silence again. <laughs> No one cares, it's like everybody's murder. It was nearly clean enough to cause my heart to stop beating. But to sum up it, I finally see the object from Mr. Crunch's fist. A piece of paper. Hey. Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper, it doesn't seem like much of a food, does it? I wonder about it. So Let's check his name's body now, perhaps he is left to you. Fact, go scrap of paper. No, it's how the killer deal with the movie From the north, of it's possible. All I was supposed to was triple and without anyone else. And I can't just see how that's possible. They died to the blow of the head. They were most likely killed and just going to keep the crown on the But when we found his body, we noticed that was his body covered in blood. No, it's possible. Then he's going to go. Okay, do I just have to talk to Kyoko again? Oh no, I have to talk to Tina and Kyoko. Thank you for putting those specific things in the You know, doesn't Kyoko get creeped out poking around dead bodies and stuff? Oh, you only have that thing to say. Okay, okay, so did you find anything? I did more than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper. That's right. me, me had it hidden on him. Hidden? Indeed. He stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he hidden on public. In his pants? Wait, so you... Why is that? It was just his pants. Not like his socks or anything. Something. I don't know what that means. Hey. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead and put it. When I think of how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like... It better be important, if you may, or I'll never will forgive you for this. A note? I found a hole we may be able to use gate. The people can't find the way to us now. Let's see him in the quick movement six. So... That sounds exactly like That's it. That's the same thing Hero said. And he says telling the truth. However, Although it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um, That's a stone white weird note on my door. It's a, it said, I found a hole in one way we can use the game. I can have camp. Thanks for telling me about 1 a.m. The time is different. Who will call us to meet at 1? But the note who makes that to meet at 6. Right? Hold on, just because who may have the note doesn't mean it wasn't meant for him, huh? So... Part of it has been torn off. I think that's the meaning here. There's some part of being ripped. Hmm, could you maybe explain a little more? Think carefully. Why would it have been cleaned to scrap paper to tear it? I have no idea. So what if it wasn't just scrap paper when you were sold it? What if it was something more important? And wouldn't it be important that the game, game more scrap paper that you need to do? Okay, and I'll add that I should tell you one other thing. The two victims would def definitely have their e handbooks on them. The handbooks have nothing to do with how the motors were carried out. Not that that was any any reason to think they were the connected to the killer in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? right? If you di didn't have to think about about it all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they won't, won't use the help carry out the motors. There were may there may come come point how or where the handbooks may play a role. But look, my player will. I don't think I understand. The character thinks the point I better keep in mind. E handbook has been added to the two ports. Ugh! I sped run that thing. It only took a good 10 20 minutes. Are you excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! Like the bright burst of fireworks, like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death, and so... Like, come. No Tillman. We're talking about death, yo. You're sick. Oh. Everyone, please meet at the I heard pumping. Spot. Yes, so. this is the class trial. We're talking about dead bodies, yo. I don't think you want to come. Come. Besides, no, besides the fact you missed Tofumi's pants. Make your way to no, the I remember that part. I was actually waiting for that. Well, you missed it, so. I was here, just had my mic muted. Oh, okay. You were just waiting for me to just say in a sock or something? Like, I don't know what that means? Oh, by the way, I do know what that means. He was, she was referring to his sock, to quote unquote. <laughs> <laughs> it would seem. It's a fortune, but this is where my investigation comes again. You have to figure out the rest for yourself at the proper time. Yeah, you are. Shall we go? Wait, well, we better get going. Yeah, okay. I sped one this entire thing, and I got the investigation done in no time at all. Okay, now I remember what I was going to say. Uh, is there a way you can go back to... No, there isn't. Back to what? I was going to say during the beginning of the investigation that Taka's corpse from a distance looks like a freaking... It looks like either a sock puppet 
<laughs> or, okay, yeah, uh, I did kind of. Remember, remember, we have the remember it's recorded, so I can go back to that and just. Mention. And I could not get over that. I was just. Like, yeah, I I thought it looked weird. I just didn't mention anything. Like it looks kind of weird, also, but I don't. When we were like talking about like the blueprints, I like how like the Sawblast brings it up, but she wasn't even there. Yeah, I'm gonna save this one. One. Either ways, so like I said, <laughs> too much much video. It's probably gonna might either it's gonna be one long video or split into two parts. Video. Yo, I shall see you all in the next one. Anything for you guys to say? Uh. Bye, Yonara! I still, I still hate fucking Christmas. You will fucking hamster. Ah, okay. Okay. See you guys then.